gosh. So, good morning from Spain. We got asked a question the other day. Do we find the Spanish to be more friendly than the French? This video is not a hate video. It's our experiences. We spent a month in France, so I guess we enjoyed our time there, but we're going to explain it a bit more in this <coughs> video. So Abby, what are your views? Well, personally, for us, we've found the Spanish to be more accommodating, just more helpful and friendly, really. Like, I feel like at the campsites in France, if you had an issue, they weren't always as willing to help out, um, and we're not people to complain anyway. We did have a couple of bad We had a couple, and you know, you've got to mention it, haven't you? Like, for one example, there was a dog that had pooed on the campsite. Oh, yes. And we kindly said, oh, the dog from the bar yeah, it wasn't the person who was camping. No, it, it was, was the, the person that worked at the bar on the site. Um, it was their dog. So I said, oh, just to let you know, they've done a poo around the campsite and we don't want the kids to step in. A couple of times as well. So the woman at the reception was like, oh, okay, well, it won't be that dog. Um, <clears throat> basically saying I was lying. I was like, no, I'm not lying. Um, and anyway, Danny was in the middle of doing a video and the dog was actually on the camera pooing. Pooing in the background. So I was like, I was like no, it is that dog. I'm just telling you anyway, just... You know if you could clean it up that'd be great and she's like okay but it won't be that dog so i, I got the camera I was like it is that dog there you go and she was like and then she oh, still okay. got funny about it she still got she? funny i just thought do you know what? all she could have done is just it's okay i'll clean it up no worries do you know it's just little things like that and then we got a burger at one of the campsite restaurants and it was awful like it was it, wasn't it even was cold. inedible it was, cold, it was disgusting it? it was cold and and we said oh no you know it's we're not nice about it yeah and anyway the chef came out and Started having a go at Danny and stuff and then like the, that. The lady who was serving us came out. Oh, there were about three of them speaking in French, shouting at me. Yeah. Then the people at the bar <laughs> were like, hoo, 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 and then started laughing and yeah, stuff. It, it was, was just weird, not wasn't very it? pleasant. I mean, we did have a good time in France, so don't get me wrong. The views um, and everything were great, but personally, for us, we prefer Spain. As soon as we got here, we went out to eat and we ordered some plain spaghetti for Olivia. Um, However, unfortunately, it came out and it wasn't plain. It had like um, a seafood sauce, sauce. Yeah. and we just explained to them, "Oh, it was plain spaghetti, misunderstanding," and they were more than happy to assist. They just wiped it off the bill, and then brought, out, brought out, you know, what we asked for, and that was it. Simple as simple as that. Um, reception had been ridiculously helpful. Yeah, they like, ordered stuff off Amazon for us. Yeah, they even they? ordered stuff off Amazon for us on their Prime. You know, I didn't even pay them. No, they <laughs> ordered it like, "Oh, we'll pay us when, we when it's them. come." Um, I mean like just little things like that um but in france we did meet nice people and they were actually english though weren't they yeah and they bought us like um baked goods from the so it's a tricky one france were totally different to what we thought as well and um, the people wasn't very helpful uh, versus the people that was yeah, this is just our experience so i'm sure that you know there's but plenty the, of the views in the campsites were amazing um but overall i think we'd probably prefer to be in spain yeah just because more's just more, more open happening. as well we found like the restaurants and if you want to grab an ice cream and stuff there's not much going on everything in the seems part to be closed france that we in went france to. Um, but then after doing some digging on social media a lot of the villages and stuff are actually derelict or just left because a lot of the younger generation get these properties inherited but they've moved on to the big cities um, so a lot of France is just vast and quiet isn't it? You can drive for yeah. 100 miles and not see one person and having two children and a motorhome and actually wanting to socialise with people or see people and buy products or food or whatever or even fill your petrol tank up they shut down as well it's very tricky in France. Yeah, and like a lot of them close for like the whole of lunch time. And yeah, so they don't open. You've they got might to get open at nine, right. but then they close at eleven or twelve. Yeah. But then they don't open until three or four, and then they close at seven again. So by oh. the time you've actually looked at your watch and gone to the shop, it's been yeah. closed. So it's a bit tricky. So in Spain, if you want peace and quiet, you can still have it, but then you can still have a bit of, you know. Um, things to do like you can go yeah, out and stuff going on. like where we are now it's it's nice and peaceful here but 10 minutes walk you hit the shops and whatever you Markets, want to do and restaurants but across bars. from us there's a beach and that's quiet and it's just a nice mixture of things whereas france it's like it was a bit like all or nothing like it was just so rural and quiet and i just didn't get where people were i mean a lot of the people in the comments but i know said a lot of people just like to go and, and just not you know not 
doing much, but that's fine. And but again, it, I suppose it's, it's all personal, choice of life, isn't it? Isn't it? It's it's just whatever. Maybe next year we might want a bit of peace and quiet, and that's all I want to do. Yeah. I don't, I don't think it'd work for us though with the kids. Too no. quiet. We're there's like, a lot of there's a lot of moving and driving to get somewhere, but then you, yeah, it's just weird. Oh, and it? we don't have to set the motor home out here. Like we can just leave it here. Yeah, that's and walk one of the massive everywhere. benefits. Obviously, we set up now awnings out. We can all still the ride the bikes. Out. We just ride the bikes. So in personally, France, you can't do that. Personally, so. I think Spain's better for us. So Spain versus France, I'd definitely say Spain. Yes. Again, this comment is not this comment. This video is not to hate on France or any country. Uh, it's just sh us sharing our experiences. Would we go back to France? Probably for the views and the lakes and stuff. Um, maybe in the future, yeah. Just maybe think in the we'll, oh, we'll probably end up going to the Alps and maybe head over to Switzerland and do it that way because we've not been to that yeah. uh, part, uh, part of France, have we? No. So um, we'll we'll see. So I hope that helped out. Question yeah. in we've the rambled comments. on a bit don't we <laughs> we have rambled on a little bit um, but that's yeah it. that's us so don't forget to like share comment and uh, let us know what other content you want to see time to get a sausage butty on the go isn't it <laughs> yeah <laughs> sausage butty <laughs>